It's the highlight of the week. A poetry reading in the Hitsats refugee camp in northern Ethiopia, close to the border with Eritrea. Adolis Teferi is a regular here. It gives him and the other refugees like him direction, hope and helps pass the time. Today his poem is about mothers. There are more than 10,000 people stranded in Hitsats. I wrote this poem because each of us has left a mother behind. I want to say there's no need to feel stressed or afraid, because we all share the same story. I want to offer them courage. Adolis has been in Hitsats for four years now. He and his wife were married in Eritrea, a year before they fled the country. They were young and just starting out their life together. But that seemed impossible in Eritrea. The government is one of the harshest dictatorships in Africa. Many Africans fleeing to Europe come from there. I miss my family terribly, but we couldn't do anything else. Aside from the political circumstances, the economic situation is tough too. Adolis and his wife are hoping that international refugee organizations will help them move to another country. They can't afford to pay smugglers to get them across the Mediterranean. We just hope we'll be able to leave this camp one day. Only a few people have been transferred to other countries since we arrived four years ago. According to the rules of the refugee relief organizations, this process should only take 12 months. But it seems to be a question of luck. I'm still hopeful, but I have no idea when it will be our turn. Here in Ethiopia, refugees are not allowed to work. That's led many to despair. Some have even committed suicide. And today, and each day, more people. Among them are many miners, as well as those who already have family in Europe. I have no idea what will happen next. It's up to my husband to sort things out for us in Germany. He told me to take the children to Ethiopia. Everything else is up to him. But refugee aid organizations often have to step in. They're overwhelmed by the numbers of people arriving. Increasing numbers of migrants are heading off, trying to make it to Europe with the help of people smugglers. They say they know it's dangerous, but they'll do anything to get out of the camp. We are creating awareness for these refugees to stay here, but they need uh, some livelihood activities in the camps. They don't have any opportunity to stay here, uh, and they are preferring to go to there because they, they want to lead their life. Adolis plays music to quell his frustration. He says he doesn't mind if he and his wife end up in the US, Europe or Ethiopia. He just wants to be able to work and take control of his own destiny.